This might be the most covered phone we've ever produced videos for before getting to a full review. Our initial hands-on detailed all the new features. Our real audio review digs deep on the headphone and speaker playback. Our real camera review has a great reveal on just how good the dual camera system is. And if you missed our V20 versus V10 comparison, then you missed one of the best reveals we've ever shot on the microphone quality. It's about four minutes into the comparison, and we have them all linked in the description below this video. As such, what you're watching right now might feel more like a long-term recap than our usual phone review. For all we can praise about this phone, that has to be tempered against the fact that this was one of the poorer phone launches of recent memory. LG just couldn't get the timing right on this beast. Announcing the phone a day before the iPhone, claiming to be the first phone with nougat, but in many markets falling behind the Pixel, sending out pre-release units weeks before final carrier versions were produced, this all contributed to a somewhat muted response for the V20. Tech outlets and blogs can't make up the difference what a proper advertising campaign should achieve. Even with some fun spots from hit record, it just doesn't seem that LG has really communicated what makes this phone unique to potential customers. And it's a shame, what with the huge phablet void left by the Note 7, this would be a prime opportunity for any large screen device to try and fill that spot. Now, getting on with the V20, this phone is a monster. Our first impressions confirmed. This is not a soft, friendly, all-rounder smartphone. It's a multimedia powerhouse. Our concerns over the change in build and design were calmed after this phone survived a handful of drops during our real camera review. It's a tough bugger. Though we're likely going to use a case in the future, the rear has this beautiful satin finish, but it's not quite as easy to hold onto as the V10 was with its grippy back. The major build concerns here were not quite as confident in this camera housing. There's a plastic guard circling the lenses, and we'd highly recommend you leave this in place. Underneath is one continuous piece of glass, and as this is raised from the back of the phone, it becomes a prime target for potential abuse. I'm still not the biggest fan of phablets, but the rear-mounted fingerprint sensor and software screen shrink help quite a bit for one-handed use. And in daily operation, this phone has proven to be a capable performer, though we're still apt to stumble into the odd hitch when driving the phone hard or multitasking. LG's skin is a lot lighter than on previous devices, and more of stock Android is showing through. Richer notifications, improved multitasking, and proper Google support for split-screening apps. That last bit is handy on the larger screen. This might be my favorite setup now for writing while traveling. It's just so compact. Gaming performance is par for the course. The Snapdragon 820 is a capable chipset with only minor stutters or frame drops in Marvel Future Fight. Better optimized games will play like butter. Network performance has been excellent on Verizon, as is Wi-Fi reception for a metal-backed phone, neck and neck with the Huawei Mate 9. As mentioned earlier, we have a trio of videos to dig in deep on audio and camera performance, but as a quick recap here, this is a content creator's dream phone. For all the comments we get from folks telling us we shouldn't judge phone cameras and microphones against professional gear, or regular people just don't shoot this way, the V20 stands as a formidable counter-argument. More than any other device we've reviewed, audio and video from the V20 has worked its way into our content nearly seamlessly. Did we mention the V20 versus V10 comparison? Uh, you should watch around the 4 minute mark there, no spoilers here. The V20 is overkill for folks looking at covering the basics, or shooting full auto on overprocessing HDR modes to get those good colors. That should be understood in the V20's price tag, but we live in an era where slapping the word pro on a device just means better. Like game consoles can be pro hardware, not so much. LG's V-series phones should be understood as pro devices. The auto modes are capable, but this device lights up once you start participating in creating your content. For those who want it, the V20 gives users plenty of room to grow. The audio game is on point, you get a good speaker, as good as a mono bottom firing speaker really can be, but the headphone jack leaps to the top of our list. This is the best, no better. I could go on, but why? This rocks. Lastly, battery life is still one area where the V-Series might give some people concerns. It's well improved over the V10, but powerhouse performance comes with bigger power draw. Our media test, streaming 30 minutes of HD video over Wi-Fi at 190 lux, the V20 drained 7% of its battery. Really using the cameras or the Hi-Fi DAC can cut into your runtime too. 
The recharge game is better than average though. 30 minutes on the included charger resulted in a 40% top off. And of course, investing in a spare battery can help you out during an extended run in the field. This being one of the last premium devices to still offer a user removable battery. So let's wrap this up. Where does that leave us with the LG V20? Well, it should be pretty clear by now that this is personally my favorite phone of the year. LG's lame launch notwithstanding, no other phone has come anywhere near, aiding me in getting my work done and delivering on my favorite fun features. For folks who aren't PocketNow editors, the recommendation hinges on a couple key questions. Would you pay a premium for expanded camera controls, high quality microphones, and the absolute best headphone jack on any phone likely ever produced? Can you handle mid-pack battery life, and can you trade enhanced water resistance to gain enhanced drop protection and that removable battery? If you're nodding more than shaking your head no, then the V20 is likely a good fit for you too. With a focus on professional features, the V20 might stand as a niche device, but it's the undisputed king of its niche. Just a shame that many people won't even know it exists. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more reviews like these, and check out the incredible number of videos we've already produced on this phone to get the full scoop on camera and audio performance. For Pocket Now, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, some gadget guy on Twitter and Instagram, and I will catch you all on the next review.